Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the ranks, goodwill filled every heart on the Delaware's banks. And into the camp, along with the breeze, blew General George Washington on cross-country skis. My troops had fought hard from Virginia to Maine, and like any great leader, I too felt their pain. It's Loud Kiddington and his dog, Fetch. I'm freezing my tail off up here. If you want to strike it rich by mining gold, never mind the howling winds are freezing cold. Hook the dog up and you'll mush. Come and join the clinic rush. Talk, talk too loud, talk too loud, talk too loud. Howdy, prospectors and miners. Loud Kiddington here. And if I can't make you a damn, my dog, Fetch, he'll eat a caribou chip. Huh? Yes, sir. You can mine for gold and cheer as you come tear to our paradise. It's 11 p.m. December 24th, 1776, and all is well. In 1795, the country disappeared entirely after all the invaders split it up. But that didn't stop Napoleon from invading the Polish plain in 1807 on his way to Russia. <laughs> you want to rent my boats? Well, I got news for you, eh? You'll need a big stack of these with Ben Franklin's face. You seem patriotic. Would you take a check? Do I look idiotic? Come and taste the excitement of the untamed wilderness. We have winter storm warnings in effect for the Urals and all of Western Russia. People who need people. Today, the United Nations brings leaders together from all countries around the globe. Each country has equal status in the UN, no matter how puny that country is. They tore through the wrapping in bright-colored bows, only to find American muskets stuck up their nose. Ha! Huh? That's pretty funny stuff. Hessians gave up, threw their hands in the air, and their commander cried out, Hey, that wasn't fair! So come on up to strike and ridge before it's too late! If you wanna find a mine, talk too loud. Sight on the dotted line and beat the crowd. You'll reach the Klondike in a day. Freeze your fanny on the way. Talk too loud, talk too loud, talk too loud. And bring me a blanket, it's cold! And so the Loud Mountie Corporal William Brock Wilde set out for the Maple River, taking along only one other officer to help out. When they arrived, they met with the leader of the Cree, Chief Piopot. When news of the victory reached General George Washington, he was elated, and he hurried off to give Arnold a promotion. Hey, Benny Baby, good work. I'd have done it myself, only I had a dental appointment with my carpenter. We should talk about your promotion. The United States Constitution! Yeah! Hey, hi, thank you. This is George, father of our country, Washington, coming at you from my humble abode at Mount Vernon. It's a little place Martha and I paid off with residuals from the $1 bill. Hey, is my nose really that big? Someone's gonna pay for this. No, but seriously. Don't worry, Pop. While you've been in the hospital, I kept working on the monument. See? As the revolution came to an end, the Continental Congress adopted the Articles of Confederation! Yeah! The fort would be captured by the American forces, led by Ethan Allen. Nasty head wound. Dude, I just came up with the name of my band. Remember when it rained for 40 days and 40 nights? Yeah, a year before that. Hey, it's for horses, Henry. Outlaw slavery. Yeah! Our job here is Hysteria is done. We hope you had a lot of fun. Boom! Tune in again and catch a Kington and his dark fetch. Well, we all love the shepherd drawings when we started on the picture and still do. But you can't take something like that that is drawn only in certain views. We have to be able to draw the character in every position, every view. And uh, he wanted to be sure that we had, we captured the story, that we captured a strength in the characters so that they would exist on their own. They didn't rely on you having read the story.